Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here to do a video today on the EOS Evolution of Smooth Hand Lotion. Now this specific um, tube bottle, I don't know, pod of uh, lotion was sent to me um, by EOS for review, but I'm very happy that they didn't. I accepted it only because it lit a fire under my ass and reminded me that I needed to do a review on this because I already love this stuff. This is probably my fourth or fifth pod of um, hand lotion of EOS that I've used before. So I'm really excited to talk about it because they only sent this to me about a week ago and I can already give you a full review because I've been using it for months and months and months. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I love this. If you saw my Earth Day picks, it was in my Earth Day picks. I think it's been in at least one of my favorites. Um, maybe my first quarter or the end of last year's because I really love this product. Um, I'm going to read to you a little bit about like what the product has and what it doesn't have and that sort of thing from the EOS website and then I'll just talk to you. So this product is 97% natural. It's um, made for all skin types. It's paraben free, phal phthalate free. <laughs> I'll put the word right here in case I got that one wrong. Lanolin free, dye free, dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic. This also has, uh, it has vitamin C and E in it um, as well as antioxidants. And it's made with shea butter and oat extract. And this is a 1.5 um, fluid ounce little pod, if you will. So the idea of this is that it's this, like I keep calling it the pod, but the idea behind this design is that it's nice and slim and small so it can fit in your pocket, it can fit in your pocketbook, it can fit on your desk, anywhere that you feel like your hands need a little moisture, you can whip this out because it just is a nice little, you know, thing that can fit anywhere. Um, some, I wish I had brought another one to compare it to, but like a traditional tube, um, depending how long it is, it's not going to fit everywhere. And the outside of it is like, sometimes they're very flimsy and bendy, so you can't really store them anywhere. This one doesn't go anywhere. Like you can put this anywhere. The cap doesn't come off. Like it's really sturdy and it's, you know, pretty hard. Um, the outside but it's still very easy to squeeze mainly because of this little thumb I don't know if you can see there you go how it has an indent so that little thumb indent makes it super easy for you to just well I should probably put on my thumb right for you to just squeeze out um, product and I was trying not to get too much so this is the cream it's a white consistency and you can see here it's not going anywhere so it's it's fairly thick but if I hold my hand down, you can see that it starts running, so it's also very thin. When you start using the product, it starts right away, um, it starts sinking into your skin right away. So you don't have a lot to rub in. It rubs in very fast, very quickly. You know, you're not sitting there for hours trying to get it in, and your hands are nice and smooth. It's very non-greasy. I feel like I could touch my face. I feel like I could touch anything with it. I mean, you do feel lotion, but it's not greasy like a lot of hand lotions, especially when they're trying to target like dry cuticles and whatnot, they're very thick. Like they're really, really thick, almost feels like a paste. And you put them on and you have to like really work it in. Your hands are like white for 20 minutes with lotion trying to get it to get into the skin. And then your hands feel very like, oh, I can't do anything with this. I feel like I can do anything. It's super light, super lightweight, nice and refreshing. And it's in a weird way like wakes you up. They have two scents. This green one is the cucumber. And I really think the scent in the cucumber aids in that, like, pepping you up because the scent in this one is, um, I would, in my opinion, significantly stronger than the blue one, which I think is just called Everyday Hand Lotion. And that one does have a small scent. It's not unscented, but it this one is definitely scented, and that one's more mild, completely um, mild. This one smells like cucumber, but, like... Even though it's 97% natural, I'm still going to say this, like fake cucumber. It doesn't smell like when you cut a cucumber. It smells like like a bath, uh, like a bath store spray type of cucumber. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, cucumber scented, but it is still very fresh, very refreshing, and it smells really nice. Um, I, to be honest, personally prefer the blue one only because I'm a very heavy perfume spritzer. Um, so sometimes this competes with my perfume. But um, to that point, it's also a pro about this one is that the scent in it is, you know, fairly strong. It lingers for a good amount of time. So if you forgot your, you know, body spray or your perfume, you could whip out this for a little fresh scent. Um, and, you know, what girl doesn't like being nice and 
scented, right? <laughs> so I really do like that about it. I put this on my desk and I use it after every task. I just work some in my hands and it works phenomenal so I like it um, my only con is that since I use it so much um, I go through this one ounce thing very quickly so I will say however though it, it is a little misleading you think like you're gonna go through this super quick like in two days but there is a little a lot in this little um, pod so don't be like, oh, that's a ripoff, because although I do go through it pretty often, it still does last me quite some time, um, considering the size. But, you know, I would like there to be other options of, like, a slightly bigger size for the addicts like me. Um, and then my only other con with it is that the top does get a little, like, um, build-up does get around the top and stuff. But, I mean, it doesn't hinder it from closing, which is a pro for me is this it closes very tight very secure like I said it I I throw it in my purse and don't even think about it I throw it on my desk I don't even think about it it's never punctured I've never had a spill the cap has never like accidentally open this part of the cap the bottom part it's not like it unscrews so it never really comes undone um, I love these so much I cut them open and it takes a lot to cut them open so it's a very secure packaging and I really like that but you can't cut them open if you're an addict like me and you need that lotion so that is good to know um, I've been able to only see these at Walgreens and I think Target I haven't seen them at CVS and I don't have a Rite Aid by me so I'm not sure exactly where you can get them but I know for sure Walgreens um, and they're always by like the lotions, like the body lotions in the more like natural product section. So it'll be like next to the Jasons and the Yes to Cucumbers and that sort of thing. You'll see the EOS lotion right there. Um, they also have like a full lotion, which I don't know how comparable it is because I don't own it. Um, but that one is more of a body lotion. It's like a big tub with a pump um, or a big bottle with a pump rather. So let me know if you've tried that one because I have it and I've been very curious um, to try that indeed. But overall, I really love this product. Um, not just because they sent it to me. Honestly, I'm not kidding. This is my fourth or fifth one. I've gotten like two or three people hooked on it. I love them. I love them. And just like their... Um, just like their lip balm counterparts, there's such a conversation piece to whip out out of your purse. People always ask me what is this and like... I've heard everything like no one ever knows that someone thought it was like one of those worry stones someone thought that it was a bar of soap someone asked me if it was birth control somebody else asked me if it was a paperweight so it always gets the conversation started in a fun way when someone asks you for lotion and you whip this out um, and then they I saw so many people I know fall in love with this lotion um, it's not greasy at all but it does leave like a silkiness and you can tell maybe on my hand I don't know because of the camera if you can see but it does leave like a little bit of like a sheen to my hand which I don't mind I like that um, it tends to let me know that my hands are moisturized but it definitely makes a difference my hands just feel nice and smooth the appearance of them is smoother um, my cuticles are less dry my nails have um, been less peely and they actually feel stronger now that my hands are moisturized all the time and like I don't know why, but fun packaging makes you want to use it more. So I use this more than any hand lotion I've ever bought. Um, I always remember to use this because of the color, because of the fun packaging. So I think it's a great, fantastic product. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I've seen it at Walgreens and Target. You can check your local drugstore. Or if you want to make your life easier, you can just go to evolutionofsmooth.com and you can buy it from there. Um, I think they have very inexpensive shipping. I've per The first time I bought this, I before it hit my drugstores, I bought it online and it came very quick and the shipping was very cheap. So yeah, I totally recommend that. Um, what else? Oh, I do have a review and I can't remember if this is in it or not, but I know for sure that the Evolution of Smooth Lip Balms and um, the shaving cream is in my other review and it's kind of an overview of EOS at the time. They may have added more products since I did that video, but I did that on my blog, imsylvain.com. It's, it's a Tumblr, but I call it my blog. <laughs> um, so I did that video specifically for there. Um, so you're not going to find it on my channel, but I will link the link to the blog down below um, to that direct one so you can watch that video there. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. Any comments? Have you tried this product? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I want to know. Um, yeah, let me know um, any other EOS pro uh, products that are your favorites because I've been loving them so far. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.